I have been a photographer for National Geographic for 27 years now, I think, something like that. I think uh, I, had, I had hair back when I started. Um, I might even have still had those bell-bottom pants I was wearing uh, when I was a, a young Turk photographer uh, back in, that, in the day. I can hear the question coming, and some, one of the, the couple will ask, so you take all these pictures? And I said, yes, I do. And then they say, do you actually go? <laughs> I'm not kidding. They do this. Do you actually go to all the places you photograph? And I have to say, yes, that's the way it works. Actually, yes, it is. I was fascinated when I found out that they had their tomato day came in, coming up at Seed Savers because all of a sudden they were going to have like 47 varieties of tomatoes laid out and they were going to have all these people going through. Now, this is photographer heaven when you're doing a story like this because somebody's actually going to be doing something and here were all these people going through there <laughs> tasting 47 varieties. I, I actually, I hoop and holler in the office. My wife is used to this. I'm over there doing research on trying to figure out how to photograph a story like this, you see, and I'll get off the phone having learned that they were going to have tomato day, you know. Man, I'm, I'm thrilled. This is big time stuff, folks, you know. I love it. Yeah, so here, you know, there's this, this, just these little kind of everyday life things are going to happen in front of me, you know. These cattle who we've been around, hanging around with for 10,000 years have become part of the family, really, you know. I mean, these, I like these guys standing there with the cows, and I can't tell who's happier. You know, they're all just there at the fair, and they're having a great time, you know, and they're showing off. Everybody's showing off, you know, and they're just, they just love it, you know. We're out there, our partnership with horses, out there. Here I am at the, on a windmill up in the Sand Hills, Nebraska, and they're coming in from branding, and they've all gathered around for a little moment, and the horses are sharing the water. And you know that the horses feel good, and we feel good, and we feel good in this, this partnership. We have developed as a species in partnership with these animals, and they are very close to us, goats for 9,000 years. There are all kinds of, uh, of species. For instance, uh, photographers, we've only been domesticated for about 150 years. And we're not fully domesticated yet. So, you know, don't let us into the living room, okay? Yeah. Derbyshire Redcap. Look at that comb on this guy. He's, he's, you know, you, you could just tell when he walked around. You know, he's a proud guy. You know, he really likes strutting his, his stuff. This is the glamorous life of a photographer. back in some back barn, you know, where we can find it, you know. But I was assisted by the chicken whisperers, Jim and the guy there at the farm, you know. And, and, uh, and Jim got really good, you know. You can take a, put your finger right underneath the chicken's chin like this, you know, and, and just raise it up, and the chicken will go, and, they'll, and then you go, and they stay there for just a second, you know. This is the kind of stuff we learn to do, you know.